can we hear a little commotion for the drums? How's the broad day going? I'm broad so I get lost. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are the Rookie Twins. Welcome back to our channel. We have a really exciting video planned for you guys today. We're getting married at the same time! That would be great. We are going to attempt to redesign our mum's best friend's wedding dresses. They've been kind enough to give them to us. You guys will recognize them as being, yeah, kind of old school, not what you would see someone walking down the aisle in today. And that's why we have to transform them into something we would wear today. So this is Sharon on the left, and this is Angie on the right. How cool that they wore the same dress. Ultimate best friend goals right there. Once we have completed our dresses, we then have to go take photos in the dress, and then you guys will decide from those photos who you think redesigned their dress the best. Before we get on with the video guys, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to click that grey bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time we post a video. And follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we post content on there every single day. Also we have merch, link in bio, check it out. So here they are. Whoa, that's a heck of a frock. That's a lot of lace. And I'm pretty sure, kind of dig it though. I'm pretty sure they wore one of those hoop skirts. <laughs> As you guys can see, it kind of looks like a pirate dress. Ah! Welcome to the Caribbean, love. These dresses are from the 80s, so obviously in the 80s, this was the this hot was the fast style. Not too promiscuous. That's about to change. We should try them on. Can we have a little commotion for the dress? How do we look? If their friendship wasn't goals enough already with wearing the same dress to their weddings, they shared a little veil. So this could have been the something borrowed. Exactly. It's beautiful. So I'm going to tell you my vision and yeah. Hi and welcome to Sam's sewing room. Can't even see the dress. I'm just uh, looking the part here with my... What is this? I'm going to get rid of the sleeves. Oh! So I'm going to cut off the sleeves. Excuse me. <laughs> I want this wedding dress to show more skin than this. Are you okay? She's okay guys. I'm gonna actually cut the sweetheart line and hope for the best that that works somehow. No, that's not how I'll be wearing it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! As I was saying, I'm actually gonna make my skirt out of a sheer curtain. Well, I'm gonna put this over the top of that. It's got some beautiful net. It actually has pearls on it too, so it's pretty cool. I can see it looking quite nice. I've got some applique stunning. I'll show you guys my inspo. I love that chest line so much. My back's going to be hopefully like this with the thin straps. I actually bought Diamante straps. I've looked up a lot of wedding dresses and I really do like the slim look and then the princess look. So hopefully all that will work. I decided to put on the wedding dress so that I could get more of a feel of what I'm gonna do. I didn't tell you guys this, but I think I'm gonna make it strapless. I love that line. Like, that is so nice. The sleeves and the straps are coming off. Let's get chopping. Let's get cutting. I'm confident about this because I know I'm definitely not having this, so I'm just gonna get it off really fast. Looking gorgeous already. Oh, there's a sleeve gone. Keyword just then was carefully. The satin underneath is so nice. I just accidentally cut into this layer. I'll be more careful now. So I finished cutting off the lace all up here. I'm just up to the last little bit. I think I'm cutting these straps off as well. Done. I just don't want to do that yet because that's the only thing holding it on the dummy and then I don't know how it would stay in the dummy because it's not like one of those dummies where I can put pins in it. It looks so different already. I'm using these pins and I feel like a professional, you know? My pin came out. I've just started pinning parts of my applique onto the chest area. Okay guys, it's taken a while, but I've figured out how to cut it so that I've got enough length out the front and then the right measurements for the back. I'm covering all of this, the bust area. Oh my gosh, I'm using such great terminology. This is pretty easy actually. Let's just hope I've measured it correctly. Pray for me. Done. By the way guys, when we were in the shops, I saw Tegan walk over with her material. Let's test. And it was amazing, like stunning material. It already has glitter built in and it has little pearls on it. I'm like, that is perfect. Like, how did I not see that first? Let's check the length. She was lucky to see that first, so 
you know, it's the same length as the original, which means I did the correct measurements. Very proud of myself. This applique is so pretty. I hope that I have enough. Legit, I've only got that much left. <gasps> Scary, I should have bought more, I didn't realize. This could be a veil. I got my fuel because I'm starving. This is hard work, this. Quite time consuming and I'm getting hungry. That was my pins. This is how you gather everyone. Pins everywhere. Obviously now that I didn't have straps, she's struggling to hold up the dress. Here's a close up. I have already pinned one side of the gathered skirt, so I'm just about to do the other side. I wanna cut from here and then go down into like a low V back. Because I've got the satin ribbon going around the dress, around the waist, I'm actually just gonna pin it because no one's gonna see it. I don't really know how I'm meant to then make it work. I'm going to pin just above the zip, like this white zip thing, because if that was to come off, the zip won't work anymore and I need it to work to that point. I don't know what I'm talking about. Guys, look who I've got helping me. Look how big he is this week. Okay, I'll put you down. He doesn't like to be carried. Wow, I can't even do this. Boom. Yeah, so Charlie's been my little helper. So there's the Charlie update for everyone asking. All right, I'm really nervous now because this is the big time. I guess I'll do one side and then try and match it. Free hand. Oh my gosh. Like once I do this, there's no zip button and it doesn't work from there. Stressful. I'm nearly done. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Actually, I kind of am. Yeah, so I had all these envisions. Envisions, is that the word? Look, I could even do a halter neck instead of the straps, but I think straps is what I want. So I had all these visions of appliques, but I feel like I'm actually not gonna need it. Now I'm trying to glue using one of these bad boys. Charlie, sweetie boy, maybe step away from the dress. Why is this a short cord? Can someone please tell me? All there is to do now is stick the bow on the back and then I'm pretty much done. I know I don't know what Tegan's doing and what she's up to. It's like, I just want to compare myself to her, you know? Charlie. I just want to see if like mine measures up, sweetie. Or if it's completely different, or maybe it's the same. I don't think it's wise that you're there. I just can't wait to see her dress. Doesn't look very good, does it? To be honest, I think it looks better on me than the duck. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. We started early this morning. It's currently 10.28 at night. I'm gonna place the bow on the back like that. So I have to tack that or hot glue gun that. Bob's your uncle. I finally finished hot gluing the applique, which I'm very happy with. It looks really good, better than I actually thought. I'm gonna try it on so then we can cut the rest of the skirt so that it doesn't drag on the floor too much and I don't trip over it tomorrow. It's literally so late right now, um, but I've just finished hacking the applique onto the front. I think it looks really, really good. So that was the last thing that I had to do. And I'm just about to try it on for the last time. And tomorrow is the big day. The day I walk down the aisle, single and alone for a YouTube video. <laughs> I'm finally done. It is 1.34 a.m. in the morning and I finally finished. Mum helped me do the last part, which was to cut my skirt. I stood up in the box and mum cut my skirt and also gave me a little train at the back, just a small one. When I tried it on, I loved it and I cannot wait to show Tegan and I can't wait to see Tegan's and yeah, I'm excited to get dressed up and all dolled up ready for photos tomorrow. I hope I've done a good job. I hope you guys like it. Remember, because you guys have to decide which one you like better, mine or Sam's. See you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I'm just getting ready. It's the next day and I've just finished doing my makeup. I've done my makeup already and now I'm about to do my hair. I'm gonna put extensions in because I want it to look really special. I've just gotta do my hair and I've decided just to wear it in some curls with my extensions. You know, it's kind of my wedding day. And hopefully that'll look good with the dress. And I think I'm gonna do like a low pony at the back with my fringe out at the front nice and curled. We'll see how that looks because I don't wanna cover the dress like with my extensions. So I'm gonna put it up some. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm done. This is it. Okay, Sam, you can walk down the aisle now. <laughs> I'm nervous to see you. I feel like the groom. <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? I haven't seen you in like a day. 
Now it's time for us to go have our mini photo shoot and then you guys get to vote. Fun fact, this is actually the spot where our mum and dad got married. Right here, right where we're standing. How's the bride day going? I'm bridezilla, get lost. <laughs> this dragon is getting good bitches. You doing good, sweetie? To you to decide which wedding dress you like better so which twin do you think did a better job at redesigning their wedding dress and remember guys these were dresses from the 80s like that just sounds you saw them that's crazy oh, they went too bad well done sweetie you do honey nah i love it I yeah you turned out so good. guys the underdog here pick me <laughs> don't be negative no i love the princess look and also the strapless love good strapless wedding dress Shout out to Angie and Sharon. Thank you so much for letting us destroy your wedding dresses. Well, not really destroy, transform and cut up your wedding dresses. We really appreciate it. You can it. have the back if you want. And you can have them back. That's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this really different video. Remember, we post every single week. So, so I'll see you guys next week. See ya.